Great. Hi, I'm Amanda Taylor from Guide for Moms. And uh, thank you for taking the time out today to speak with me. It's nice to meet you, Amanda. You too. Well, so I hear, I'm sure you hear this a lot, but my kids were huge fans of the books. <laughs> and now That's that they're now that they're teenagers, they're fans even of the um, animated, you know, films that they watch that. That's so, cool. um, yeah. So uh, my my question is, why do you think, you know, that these stories have resonated, you know, with not only children, but adults and kind of stand in the test of time through the years? Yeah, I think that I think the stories are kind of universal. Like mm -hmm. this story in particular is about the stress that a kid feels around the holidays and yeah. this wanting of a, of a gift and trying to be good. Um, I think that these I try to um, hit on themes that that feel like they they are universal, and mm -hmm. um, that's been really rewarding to hear things things like you've just said is to hear that they they're they're resonating with kids across you know genders and and cultures yeah. and things like that. So that's cool. And it is funny that you mentioned themes because I was going to ask about that. This is the third coming from Disney Plus. And of course, it, it's a, it has the Christmas theme. The first kind of had the message, though, of like friendship and the second one, right, like brotherhood. So what kind of yep. message are you hoping this one, other than Christmas, kind of the viewers take away from? Uh, well, the, the my my books don't usually come with uh, a lot of messages, but the, <laughs> this movie does. And uh -huh. it's, you know, the, the message of this one is that your family might be driving you crazy now, but you'll come to really appreciate them later on. Um, so I think that it's, um, I think it's a, a good hearted message. And even though it sits a little outside of the normal wimpy kid fair, I think that it's, um, it's, it's, a, it's a good one to do right now. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, we all can use that, right? Especially during the holidays. <laughs> so how do you, pick which book um, to make into one of these films. Yeah, so they, there are so many of them now. There are 18. Mm. Um, it just felt like the right time to tell a holiday, holiday story. We've never done it before. Mm -hmm. um, Disney really wanted to do a holiday story at the holidays, and we had a, yeah. a window. We had an opportunity to do it. And so um, we, we, we really had to race to get it done, but, but we did and got it done in time. Um, but it's it's nice, you know, here it is December. I'm in New York. I'm in Times Square right now. We're mm -hmm. looking at the backside of one of those giant video boards. Uh -huh. um, but it's um, it, it, so it feels like Christmas around here already. Yes. And it, it feels really good to have a, a holiday film coming out. Oh, definitely. Can't get enough of those, right? <laughs> and um, so this one we got, though, to meet Santa Scout which That's I right. was so excited about, kind of like the version <laughs> of Elf on a Shelf. Yeah. So can you tell me a bit about, you know, incorporating him into the story? Did did you have a Santa Scout growing up or <laughs> did you take part of uh, well, the whole Elf on the Shelf thing with your own kids? No, we didn't do Elf. I don't think we did Elf on the Shelf, but that's a, you know, that's a genius idea. Mm -hmm. But of course, uh, this, this, my, uh, my elf is called Elfrendo, which is kind of a strange name. Um, but he's, uh, he's keeping an eye on Greg and he's, it's not very clear if he's, he's alive or if he's uh, just a doll. And Greg can't really figure it out himself. And I think we, we leave it up to the viewer to figure that one out. Um, but it's it's fun because it adds this element to the story that it's almost like horror, which is 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 a fun element to throw into a holiday movie. Definitely. <laughs> not, oh, excuse me. <clears throat> so what I appreciate about these uh, animated films also is the length. You know, they're yeah. not too long to really lose the attention, which always happened with my kids, but not too short uh, at all either. But in doing so, you kind of have to kind of pick and choose, right? What makes it into the film? Was there anything in this one that you really was hoping from the book that made it into it that didn't get it? No, I felt really good oh, about nice. it. Um, it's it's nice. An hour is a nice length because you have to tell a really tight story. Um, yeah. And there's in, in filmmaking, there's something called an A plot and a B plot. Mm -hmm. And most movies have both. And these don't have a B plot. And so it's a really straightforward telling of the story yeah. um, in, in a way that works really well for me. Mm -hmm. So which uh, book would you like to see next to come in to Disney? 
Yeah, I'd like to see the last straw next because that way we would be getting back on track. It would be the third uh, story. So, um, you know, but that's out of my control and, and I, you know, I and I'll do whatever Disney wants um, mm -hmm. and we'll, um, we'll hope, we'll hope they all get made. Uh, definitely. I cross my fingers for it. <laughs> well, thank you so much for taking the time out to speak with me today. I really appreciate it. Thanks for your thoughtful questions. I yes. appreciate it.